So this is my minimalism lifestyle, showing it to you even like without any lights. My old swimming suit, my new one, <coughs> drying on my bike. Yeah, I got the mess in here, but it's cool to show you what it looks like in my life when I got the mess. Here I'm washing my clothes. This is my toilet. You know, I live in a asylum. That's the rubbish. This one is the fridge. Some butter there. You know, the water. When it uh, evaporates, it creates um, this uh, evaporation cooling effect. Then there is the beer I wanted to give to someone and I forgot it yesterday when I went to Zurich. Like this one too, I forgot the raincoat. But now I got this umbrella. But actually it's a sunshade because along the coast here you don't have too much shadow. Then I'm eating raw eggs, lemon and the butter and some honey would be nice. That's my clothes in there. I just buy, you know, a t-shirt, I wear it off and throw it away. <laughs> kind of. Well, this one I'm gonna wash. A top. And hand washing is what it is. You know. I just soak it for a bit, then I wash it. Later on, I'll be scrubbing off the dirt from this top. So the mirror is there because I, have, I didn't have a computer and I don't have Wi-Fi here. So with this mirror I can draw myself. There is one excerpt I could show you. Like, you know, my good jacket. This is the skirt I'm owning. This is like a hammock to use on the water because I actually don't like it in here too much so what I do is spend a lot of time outside I'm gonna eat those cherries then I'm gonna do a funny <laughs> magazine review I painted some stuff into it and it'll be funny kind of absurd the way I understand comedy or you know I'm more into satire than that hilarious laughter like the British black humor kind of appeals to me so my review will be a bit <laughs> you know you cannot take the media whatever it be books or the internet or magazines seriously anymore so that one I did Right. I look sweeter on here than I do in reality, but I try to capture my eyes at least, the nose. So yeah, I'm gonna send it away probably. So yeah, I have to keep it somehow oily free, oil free. Having been so much in the lake, I've been burning myself, the skin is a bit irritated, I feel like oiling it a lot. So I'm still having salad oil, my coconut oil, that's all of my art that is left. All the other stuffs I've sent away. Well, <laughs> this one is necessary somehow because at the beginning I also needed to pee in here, I don't want to use the toilet that's in the hallway, so I didn't have that cupboard moved in to the door way so I was kind of visible so and also the doors I like a lot yeah some eggs some lemon that's my sailing stuff to learn you know the glasses some scissors some <laughs> nothing worse mention it. that one I need when I eat to put in the liquids when I have like butter mixed with an egg and then I put in some lemon juice. That one's really tasty. I hear my, hear my stomach gargle because I just had some chocolate. So that's also a little bit art that's left. 
the leaves. And all the other things, like the bed you recognize and stuff, so yeah. I'm learning Japanese since minimalism made me not have Wi-Fi until like well until I solve my Wi-Fi problem but also I didn't have a computer until yesterday I bought this one so that I can at least look at my videos on a bigger screen and judge which ones are for keep and which can go so I'm gonna be eating the cherries now and do the review yeah so as I don't have all these um, TV internet radio cellular phone I'm mostly doing stuff on paper like drawing or learning Japanese yeah, I should clean this floor before I do stuff on it. Mm. <laughs> because I've been walking on it with my shoes while I did the review, remember? So I'll do that. So otherwise all my costs really, really are reduced now. My minimalism is also financially um, interesting so living in this richer area of Switzerland I get more money from the government like about 300 Swiss francs a month that I got more here than uh, in this wonderful area I've been living before so um, I will have to say yeah I learn more here, I'm more outside because of not having all the stuffs to do at home. I eat better because I'm not cooking or relying on a fridge too much, like buying a lot of yogurt and stuffs. Yogurt has a lot of sugars added. Mm. You know, and all those flashy coffee drinks and stuff. And the bother kind of survives for a few days at least, so I always go and rebuy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Let's make this ASMR <laughs> Me eating the cherries. All those moving over here and into my mouth. Mm -hmm. Hear them slamming off the doors of the cars. So I've started to write a song about the lake. But really being in here it's not possible to continue working on it because of all the bad noises. I'm used to hearing the lake the waves breaking on the shore <laughs> and now it's like when I'm at home I get kids from the nearby schoolyard screaming and then my annoying neighbor a woman I know is really harassing me here that's why I have the stores down so the people from the other side aren't able to peek in because she's been talking to them about me. Mm. Doing silly st stuff that doesn't bother me, like reading out aloud my email. <laughs> but um, I guess not the part where I told her that it's bad she isn't talking to me in person. Because the dealing with the money needs some talking. Mm. I know why she didn't want it to be confronted by me in real life anymore because she wasn't sure did I know or not about her telling two of my kind of coming landlords 
nasty stuff about me and like really intervening in a way that kind of made those people turn around against me. She was using a little bit of psychology the way she does up here in the street as well. So that one was my proof, knowing that she's doing it in the street on the other side of my house. And I can hear basically the way she kind of points out certain things, you know, like, yeah, definitely talking about me and showing them my email. <laughs> mm. So... That's why I have the stores down, and I even hear her right now. She never told me about that house, the posh house she has on this hilltop. Huh? Funny. <laughs> mm. Yeah, she would have felt some real bad emotions having to talk to me having had you know two people uh, turn against me mm. maybe even three and my, my last landlord as well I lived there like for two months in the midst of this village I lived until I had to move up here it just got too stressful living with this woman because of the harassment maybe as well of this um, lady in this street. Mm. Mm. But I will finish the song. Mm. I've been with the bike mm, 33 kil uh, 40, 53 kilometers towards Glaris and I visited the places there. People weren't around though. It was kind of sad somehow. And then I was um, to Zurich. That's 30 kilometers. But the Glaris, I expected to be 41 when I realized going to his village with a bike. So it was a 53 one way. Hmm. Huh. And I slept in a station building. They closed the lights like at some hour late. And then I moved when I had puffed uh, in the first one. I moved to the second one, just the other village with my bike. And there I lay down on the benches there. <laughs> Mm -hmm. So that's about it. Mm. The rent is small here for the place. Yeah, I hear her. It's her, she, she, her voice and she peeks out and she does it on purpose so that I get upset. Like her again talking about me or what. And she's like... A total housewife. Hear her? That was her. <laughs> <laughs>